Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Felici Friday. Hopefully everybody's had a good summer so far, right? July, we're already at the end of July. It's like so hard to believe, but it's beautiful outside. Um, so we've got that going for us anyway. So yeah, hopefully everybody's good. I feel like I haven't been here in a little while. I guess it has been a week or two, right? So yeah, I'm glad to be back and I'm looking, I'm like, I've got so much to show you guys. Hi, Tammy. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Um, yeah, I'm like, okay, we might, yeah, we have lots and lots of fun to have, to be, to be had today. Let me tell you. Hello, Philomena. Welcome. So today we are playing with the beautiful, the perfect pomegranate stamp set. So this, thank you for the share too, Philomena of uh, Facebook Live today. So this is a stamp set that Stampin' Up! is offering free as it's like a free host stamp set so if you put in a big order if you put in a $300 order or say if you have friends and family gather enough orders to get to $300 in product you automatically get this stamp set for free in your order so it again it's the uh, perfect pomegranate stamp set so there's just lots of beautiful kind of watercolor imagery hello good morning miss bonnie thanks for joining us um so anyway, what I've decided to do though, is I'm gonna share a couple projects that I've made with you today. I'm already like jumping ahead. Where are my notes? Can I say this already? I think I can, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna play with this today. I'm gonna show you some beautiful projects that I've created using this stamp set. And then I also wanted to make sure that everybody understood. So for example, Bonnie just bought the starter kit through me. Anybody who buys the starter kit through me during celebration, so the rest of July, a couple of days left, or all of August, you get your name in the drawing to win um, a perfect pomegranate stamp set. So as many sets as I get from just regular orders, you know, anytime I put a $300 order in, if it's not for a hostess, if it is for a hostess, obviously she's gonna get that stamp set. But if it's just a regular order um, that I put in, I'm getting these stamp sets and I'm like, I, what am I gonna do with extras of these? So I decided I'm gonna give them away to everybody. Um, well, put your names in the drawing. So as many people um, as buy the starter kit through me, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the perfect pomegranate stamp set. And we'll do that the beginning of September also. Um, <clears throat> So just so you know that, but in the meantime, if you fall in love with this stamp set and you already have the starter kit, um, then obviously put your $300 order in and get the stamp set for free um, with your host rewards on your $300 order. But hopefully that makes sense, right? So one way is to put orders in, $300 in orders gets you the stamp set. The other way is you get your chance to win through me if you buy the starter kit. So, and let me do a quick reminder. So the starter kit, the deal during celebration right now is the regular deal. $125 in product you pick that whatever you want you pay only $99 plus sales tax the shipping fee is waived and then you also get the beautiful making plans collection so I showed you guys this um, planner a couple of weeks ago um, but it's beautiful we'll just kind of flip it open because I'm just I still am so in love with it I already have a planner otherwise I would definitely be using this one myself but yes yeah, so you get the planner <clears throat> you get I don't know if you can see, like these are all of the extra pages that you get for your planner. Hello, Danny, welcome, thanks for joining us. So you get pages enough for all the rest of 2022 this year and then all of next year too, so all of 2023. So you've got lots of pages that you can use in your planner, get yourself organized if you need to do that. Then you also get the Making Plans stamp set. Uh, beautiful, well not beautiful, I guess I'd just say a fun, like we've got notes, to-do, goals, on this day for your order all the things wish list making thank you check all the boxes plans so it's just kind of a cute fun stamp set to kind of help get you organized or um as in terms of a demonstrator thank you for your order right so yeah i like that one a lot and then there's even the little copyright stampin up so if you make projects you can use this stamp set put that little copyright stampin up on the back of your projects and then you can sell them that's the angel policy they call that so you want to make sure that if ever you you're selling things you have that little copyright stamping up on the back of your projects um, so yes yeah, stamp set and then you also get these three cute little notebooks so that one is beautiful right with the floral print that one's a pretty um, 
kind of a stripey, I don't know if you can see that, and then like a yellow and white polka dot. So beautiful notebooks as well. So you get all of that in addition to $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax. Plus your name goes in the drawing to win one of my perfect pomegranate stamp sets. So keep that in mind. Um, the starter kit is awesome, the deal is awesome. The best part about it is then you get your discount, your 20% discount on everything that you order after that. Once you work up to Bronze Elite, when you per, excuse me promote to Bronze Elite after you've bought the starter kit, which is at $1,800 in rolling 12 month sales, then you actually get a 25% discount. So you get like a 5% pay increase or um, discount, I guess, on your order. So keep that in mind also. Um, we have a great team. The Inkspired Stampers team is an awesome team. Love to have you be a part of that. We do lots of other fun things. There are lots of perks for being um, a team member, and I'll kind of mention those throughout um, the Facebook Live as well, okay? So let me know if you have any questions on the starter kit. We've had a couple of people buy the starter kit already. Hello, Miss Jamie, thanks for joining us. Um, so yeah, I'd love to get you started um, on your stage stamping journey, whether, you know, and just know this, you don't have to do Facebook Lives. Robin, hello. You don't have to do classes. You don't have to demonstrate things. Most people buy the starter kit just to get to the discount. So no worries on any of that because I know people start to, you know, um, or what if I don't keep up my minimums? No big deal. If you don't keep them up, you don't keep them up. But that opportunity is there for you to use your discount, uh, you know, for as long as you are able to. So Okay, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions on that, all right? Okay, let's see, what else? Okay, we talked about the starter kit. Oh, another fun thing, well, let me share. So for example, we had our team meeting. Uh, it was like a week and a half ago. We always do that the third Tuesday of every month. So I wanna show you guys, we've got some swaps that we um, shared. So Jamie, who actually, Teresa, hello, hello. Um, but uh, Jamie, who just popped on, Jamie Sanders made this card. Isn't that beautiful? That little thinking of you featuring some of our celebration. I think that's the Rings of Love Designer Series paper. Um, and then I think Julie Wilmot made this one. Isn't this cool? And I love her use of our in colors too. So we've got the parakeet party, um, The this one is I think Orchid Oasis and then the Tahitian Tide. Isn't that cool? I love the mountains and then kind of the, the water there and the trees and the little city in the distance. And she says, smiles across the miles. I think that's super cute too. And then, um, why am I totally drawing a blank on who? Hmm, Jenny didn't come. She, maybe Sharon made this one. I'm, oh yeah, no, Charlene made this one. Okay, good, I'm Charlene put her name on the back. So yes, Miss Charlene Mug made this one with the fun little hippo. And I have to say, I think the hippo stamp set and the dies are like the, the by and far, like the most favorite stamp set um, and dies, you know, that you can get free during celebration. So this is obviously one of those um, featuring some celebration product that you can get for free there. So awesome swaps. I think I have a couple of others to show you. I'm actually using, so Sunday made a swap also using the, um, well, I'll show you real quick. Um, but yeah, Ooh, oh, it's kind of, there we go. Okay, so yeah, this one is a fun one too, featuring the little hippo, right? And then it's kind of a fun fold right there too. And then she's got the little, she, yeah, the, well, I guess she's running. Is she running or dancing? This little one is dancing, right? So in the little tutu. So isn't that cute too? So Sunday Osterner made that card. Um, okay, I think that was it for those. Okay, so we also do make and takes too. So that's something else to keep in mind if you join the Inkspire Stampers team. Um, if you're local, you come to the meeting and you can do your make and takes. If you can't make it to the meeting, if you're local, I put them out on the porch for porch pickup. If you're long distance, then obviously that's a little tough to make it to our meetings live. You can attend the um, Facebook Live version of our meeting. We basically do it just like this and we have our meeting and then you get to be a part of things kind of virtually, right? And you can also do the make and take. So I put everything together for you and I mail it out to you so that you get it um, in time to be able to make the make and takes um, at the meeting with us, I guess. Usually we turn the camera off at that point and we do the make and takes, but certainly you can make them um, that night or anytime after that. So I always post pictures to send you everything that you need. So in this case, we, um, used the, again, the Rings of Love Designer Series paper. And then I'm totally drawing a blank, but the stamp set and the dies, I wonder if, can I find that handy? Uh, well, I guess it is the, 
Is this one it? Yeah, okay, cool. So I have it right here, the Ringed with Nature stamp set and then the dies that go with this stamp set. So it's a whole kind of suite, um, the Designer Series paper celebration stuff and then the stamp set and the dies are actually in the holiday catalog. So yes, so I'll show you, actually I'll kind of hold one up at a time. So there's this first one, another Thinking of You and I love, I don't know if you guys can see like the embossing, kind of like the circle, the tree, there and then the fun little acorns. So that was one of them. We did this cute thinking of you card again, more of the Rings of Love designer series paper and some of our petal pink ribbon. Gorgeous ribbon. How about this one's fun too, right? The love and warmth with more of that ribbon and our designer series paper. And then lastly, we have this Merry Christmas card, um, again, with more of the Rings of Love designer series paper and that petal pink ribbon. So that's a good example of the make and takes that we make each month. So you could get all of these pieces mailed to you if you are long distance. And then, like I said, you just need your own stamp set to do your stamping, because I can't do that for you. I do all the die cutting that I can, um, send you everything else that you need. You just need your own stamps and ink to do that part for yourself, okay? Um, so yeah, another fun perk. Um, if you're interested in getting that starter kit, you can make those cute make and takes every single month. Then I also do a couple of other things at the meeting. We do something called a mystery project. So this was my mystery project for last month. So basically what I do is I give you dimensions and kind of give you a rough idea. Um, so I'll tell you to um, cut a card base. Um, and this one, oops, that's kind of stuck together there a little bit. Whoops, that's not supposed to, that's got a little extra adhesive on there where it's not supposed to. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you how to cut the cardstock, the designer series paper, give you an idea, you know, grab a stamp set with a sentiment, some um, ribbon and gems, and then you cut, and so you don't really know, like you just, you kind of come up with what you think is going to work together. And then we make these cards, the mystery card uh, during our Facebook Live on our meeting too. Hello, Miss K. So it's kind of a fun thing because, you know, you kind of have an idea in your mind of what you think I might be doing and you grab products that you're going to be able to use and then you make that project and you never know maybe you use some of the same stuff I did maybe you use totally different stuff but it's kind of a fun thing to do and then they post um, their projects on our Facebook groups we have a separate Inkspired Stampers Facebook group hello Deb welcome so anyway that's kind of a fun thing that we've started doing the mystery project and then lastly I love to reward um, so I always um send cards, um, cute little like congratulations cards to the top five sellers each month in our Inkspired Stampers group. And then actually, if you sell over $600 or more in a month, Stampin' Up! actually gives you extra commission or what they call volume rebate, but it's essentially an extra commission. Um, let's see what's Kay saying. Oh, she's got a couple. I'm, I, it's scrolling past, but I think I'm gonna have to respond to you later, Kay, because it kind of went away. Um, yes, uh, sorry about that. Um, but okay, so what was I saying? Oh, $600 club. So yes, Stampin' Up! rewards you for having at least $600 in sales in a month. And I love to reward you as well. So I have what I call the $600 club. So for example, this month, everyone received the, um, these are the festive pearls. Thanks for sharing the video too. So I have to open this too, um, as you can't see, because some of the pearls actually are kind of a pretty red. This one, they on the package it says they're the red and green adhesive backed pearls, but they've got some red and some, so I'd say these are cherry cobbler and maybe soft succulent. And then we've got some silver and gold pearls there also. Um, so yes, so this is what everyone received that had at least $600 in sales. In addition to their extra commission from Stampin' Up, they everyone that um, had over $600 in sales made it into the $600 club and received the festive pearls this month. So that's another thing that I like to do to kind of reward for that extra, um, those extra sales each month too. So lots of good stuff happens over with our expired stampers group as well. Um, oh, <laughs> Kay, you're saying it's hot. Oh yeah, I bet it is down in, in North Carolina. No breeze. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh yeah, I know summers are a little bit harder for you, but then you have a nice long fall, right? You don't have the, and the winter's not as bad too. So I guess all trade-offs, right? But stay as cool as you can, right? Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, okay. Um, Quick reminder also about our 
Designer Series Paper Shares. So I'm actually gonna show you again, just real quick. I have the Holiday Catalog Designer Series Paper Share. I think I have at least two paper shares left. And I I don't know why I cut it off. I think I said the last day to RSVP was like July 25th, which is ridiculous because we've only had um, the like Holiday Catalog for a few weeks. So I've extended it. We're gonna run it through the end of August. August 25th is the last day to RSVP for a designer series paper share from the holiday catalog. So it's $52, let me make sure I got my notes right here. Yes, $52 for all of this paper. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, I showed it a couple, like on our last Facebook Live, but look at just, I'll kind of fan this out. This is one of my favorites too, is that sparkly paper right there. Isn't that, it's all gorgeous, but look at all of this paper. I can't even, I'm like afraid to like drop it. Here's kind of the backside. Um, but yes, anyway, so yes, $52 for all of this paper. So it's essentially a quarter of a pack of 16 different papers in the holiday catalog i'm checking to make sure plus you also get the celebrate everything host designer series paper which is actually oops can i show you i kind of know that paper right yes okay yeah so you get all of this uh designer series paper as well right the celebrate everything host designer series paper for free you also get one of each of the um hello don welcome the um what are these called soft sea foam and pa pool party note cards and envelopes these have already sold out so you can't get them any longer as a celebration item but i have a few so while supplies last i'm including those in your designer series paper share you also get a little sample for free of the gold and silver celebration paper and then lastly, for free, you also get the Rings of Love Celebration Designer Series paper. So that's what we used on those make and takes that I just showed you from our meeting. So all of that for free, in addition to all of that other Designer Series paper for just $52. If you need it shipped to you, I ship it priority mail shipping, so it's an additional $10 for that priority mail shipping, okay? So if you're interested, let me know. I include the link for, look at, look at that huge stack of paper, for all of that designer series paper will be in the details above this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded this afternoon, okay? Then I actually have two of my paper shares from the annual catalog left. I, I kind of forgot about it. I had it stashed away and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to make sure. So in case you missed it, this one I ran um, earlier this summer. So what I, I'm gonna just kind of show you guys because I have all of these packages of designer series paper and I haven't even cut them because so for example this is a half a pack of all of our designer series papers in the annual catalog so this is all of our 12 by 12 paper and then there are actually a couple of packages of 6 by 6 paper too um, so you can get that all of that designer series paper well, i think i started to say i haven't even cut it because if i don't sell them i'd rather keep it in 12 by 12 pieces than have two 6 by 12 pieces so that's why i can't show it to you quite as well so i'm kind of just waiting to see if i sell them great if not i'm just gonna have to keep them and i'll play with them myself um, but the annual catalog designer series paper share is $44 if you're interested in that. And you know what? I'm gonna throw in the celebration papers as well. So that'll be a little freebie with your um, uh, your annual catalog um, designer series paper share. And I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna make myself a note. I'm gonna say that. Throw in celebration DSPs too, okay? So if you're interested, let me know. I have two of those left. So again, all of, how many packages is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So yeah, 12 packages of paper. There's a like, I have to like heft it up there. There's a lot of paper there, right? So I'll cut all of these in six by 12 pieces and you'll get a quarter of a pack of all of that paper as well if you're interested, okay? So I'd love to share that with you guys because there's so much beautiful paper out there. We, we know, we all love paper, right? And we all are like, oh, we have enough paper, but this is brand new, beautiful paper that you don't have yet. So you probably need these also. So I'll include the link for that um, designer series paper share in the um, details above this Facebook Live video this afternoon too, okay? Um, all right, I need a quick sip of water and I'm gonna check my notes here. <laughs> 
All right, I think we are good to go. Let's do our first drawing for, yes. Oh, I love these things. The solid faceted gems. They're just beautiful, right? All these bright, bold colors. So we're gonna give these away today on Facebook Live. I've seen lots of people posting that they've shared this video, right? So our last Facebook Live video, if you shared that video, and I, I'll kind of put reminders up right here in our Facebook group um, to do that sharing. Also, if you share my class to go kit post, you get your name in the drawing here. And then lastly, if you sign up for my email list, and I include a link to that um, above this Facebook Live video as well. So lots of different ways to get your name in the drawing right here. So I'm shaking things around and we will draw one lucky winner. Okay, they're like, gotta shake them up because I feel, oh, when they're stuck together, I'm like, that drives me crazy because I need everyone to have a fair chance of winning. Okay, so I have one name in my hand, Miss Beth Martin. Congratulations. She just got the starter kit too. So congratulations, Beth. She is going to receive the solid facet of gems. And Beth, I'll put those out on the porch for you to pick up at your convenience. So congratulations, Miss Beth. Miss Beth. I feel like I'm, I'm speaking with a list sometimes. And I don't really normally do that, which I mean, you know, if you do, that's something that happens, right? Um, but I think I'm just trying to talk way too fast and then that's apparently what's happening to me. So I sound kind of silly sometimes, so sorry about that. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, <laughs> you guys are all so sweet, we are going to give away, I love these things. We actually used them on some scrapbook pages that we made recently. So these work great with that Rings of Love designer series paper from Celebration and the Rings with Nature stamp set. So these are the brushed metallic adhesive backed dots and they come in, I'm gonna say it's like a gold, copper, and maybe a bronze, I would say. So they're super cool, fun little dots. Great kind of for your fall projects, which it's, you know, I don't really want to talk about fall just yet, but it's coming. So great little dots there, adhesive backed, brushed metallic adhesive back dots that you could win if you share this Facebook Live video, share the class to go kit post. And I actually just, so the class to go kit, I just um, shared that today is the last day. I'll show you that in just a couple minutes, but. If you share that post, you get the name in the drawing. And if you sign up for my email list, okay? Um, so yeah, so did I say that already? I wanna welcome, I think I kind of have mentioned both of their names, hello Lisa, um, but both Beth Martin and Bonnie Pazdernick both took advantage of the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit deal, bought that great deal, got that Making Plans collection, got to pick $125 in product, and now they are part of our team, our Inkspired Stampers team. So I just wanna say welcome, give a warm welcome. And there's Miss Beth, who actually just won those um, solid faceted gems too. She might not have heard that. So congratulations, Beth. Um, so yeah, there's lots of good stuff happening for these ladies. So congratulations um, on getting that awesome starter kit deal as well. So and welcome to our group and our team, Miss Beth and Bonnie. Yay! Good stuff, good stuff. Um, okay. Oh, I know what else. I think I set up my email. I don't think it's been sent yet and I'm going to post it's either later this afternoon or tomorrow. Um, but I've been doing the super summer giveaway. Um, let's see what <laughs> Robin, I talk as fast as, as you do, huh? Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I don't know. And normally I don't talk this fast. I think it's on Facebook Live, you know, like you get like, it's like nerves and you get all excited and I have all this stuff. I'm like looking around the table. I'm like, I gotta talk about a lot of stuff here. So yeah, that's funny. Um, so what was I talking about? Oh yeah, super summer giveaway. So I wanna just do a quick, where did that sheet go? I like can't think straight, so I have all my little papers everywhere. Okay, so yeah, so the super summer giveaway, what is that? Okay, <laughs> stickies on things, I don't know what they are. Okay, so I am going to do this drawing. I'm gonna give away some fun product from our annual catalog and from our, Jan our July to December holiday catalog, right? So I'm working on getting fun products right now. I've been ordering those things, getting super excited to share and give those away in September, but you still have a couple days left in July and all of August. These are all the ways you get your name in the drawing. And then I'm gonna give you a list of everybody's names who are already in the drawing. But first of all, okay, so you get one ticket into this drawing for each event that you attend, and this does include the um, 
the class to go kits. I consider that attending if you order one of those class to go kits. You get two entries for every $50 that you spend. That's at class and online. You get two entries for every project that you post right here to our Facebook group. Whatever you're making, share it with us. Use the hashtag super summer giveaway and you get two entries into the drawing. If you bring a new guest to class, you get two entries in the drawing. If you join a club, including Paper Pumpkin, the In Color Club, I've got my Simple Beautiful Card Club, Scrapbook Club, Class To Go Kit Club, you get three entries into the drawing. Uh, if you buy the starter kit, you get five entries into the drawing. So both Beth and Bonnie have at least five entries into the drawing, if not even more. Um, and then also if you hold a private party or class, you get five entries into the drawing. Okay, so I just have to read off. And like I said, I'm posting right here to our Facebook group and I'm emailing about it. So you guys will all hear all the names that are already included in the Super Summer Giveaway Drawing. I went through and double checked. So this was running for June, July, and it'll continue through August. So as of Wednesday, this is everybody that has their name in the drawing, okay? So I'm gonna just shout your names out so you can hear everybody's names that are already in the drawing, but you still have lots of time to get your name in the drawing too okay and the more entries that I get the more prizes that I can give away too right okay so we have Deb Ackley Deb Northrup Denise Ledbetter Barb Savage Cheryl Hall Beth Martin Lori Cresswell Amy Adams Sally Guter Roseanne Lafreniere Rose Castellan Wendy Drowley Lisa Berge Linda Callhoff Sharon Greening, Susie Meekumber, Gail Piper, Sandy White, Gwen Lorenk, Amy Jo Shelton, Mary Martinez, Kim Vaughn, Becky White, Bonnie Simon, Sunday Ostrander, Diana Boone, Philomena Soso, uh, Nadi Hartman, Kathleen Krause, Bonnie Pasternick, Monica Talbot, Linda Danis, Trish Hall, Robin Wellens, Kay Jacoby, and Jennifer Tilton. All of those ladies already have the name in the drawing. And the more that you do all of those things, attend events, put orders in of at least $50, post pictures right on here, buy the starter kit, uh, become a member of one of the clubs, you continue to get your name in the drawing, right? So I'm excited about all of these entries already in there and I can't wait to have all these fun prizes to give away. We'll do that um, on one of the first Facebook Lives in September, okay? So keep that in mind, okay? All right, um, I think we are just about ready. I just so many notes here. I'm like, oh, trying to skim through here and make sure I told you guys. I think we're pretty good though, right? Um, let's see. Yeah. So I actually, this is kind of crazy. July's been kind of a slow month that I've been kind of trying to figure out why I didn't have any online orders. So I was going to give away um, a stamp set and I didn't have any online orders. So I'm not giving that away. So I'm kind of bummed because that's one of my favorite things to do is give these things away. So, um, and like I said, it's kind of strange because we have celebration right now. So just want to make sure everybody knows that, right? That celebration is going on. If you don't have the cute, the hippo stamp set and dies yet, right? Um, that's probably, like I said, one of the fan favorites is the hippo stamp set and the hippo dies. So make sure if you put an online order in through me of at least $50, you can pick one of these celebration items. You also get your name in the drawing to win. I'm gonna give away, this time I'm gonna give away the tree lot dies. I should open those up, but I can actually show you. So they are a free item with a $100 order during celebration and they are so cute. Like look at those fun little dies right there. And then here are a bunch of examples of projects that you can make using those tree lot dies. So if you put an order in through Stampin' Up, you have to spend $100 to get these for free. I am gonna give them away free with just a $30 order. Make sure you use the host code. I have a new host code I'm gonna give you and I'll have that posted on my blog too. Um, so yeah, if you order through me, you get your name in the drawing to win those tree lot dies. You're gonna get the projects that I'm gonna make with the perfect pomegranate stamp set. If you bump your order up to $50, you get your free celebration choice. And you also get to pick from the uh, Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which for July was little um, 3D projects, right? So I actually have my cute little treat box here. I'll share this with you. So it's with, um, you kind of lift up. Okay, so, right, you kind of see this? And it's got that fun little scallop edge. I kind of almost think maybe it should like tuck. Maybe I should do it that way, huh? Yeah, 
So, right, and then it's this cute little treat box. You can put something fun on the inside there and it features some of our new, this is kind of the fall designer series paper, right? So fun little treat box. So you can learn how to make this treat box along with 15 other projects in our Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, right? So that's one thing you can get for free with your $50 order. And then in July, a couple days left in July, if you order in July, you get the fun flower resin shapes as a free embellishment for me. So you can pick from either one of those free with your $50 order. Starting in August, I'm going to be giving away the festive pearls. So these beautiful pearls are your free embellishment that you could get free with your $50 order. Or you can pick the August PDF tutorial from the Demo Design Dream Team, okay? So I would love and truly, truly appreciate your orders. Um, like I said, especially with celebration going on, I've kind of been like puzzling over like, and I, I think maybe some of it is, you know, people are just out and about, it's summertime, you're maybe not stamping so much. Um, so I get that too, but take advantage of celebration while you can. Um, get even the basics. If you don't wanna like look through the catalog right now, I know you need white card stock, you need envelopes, you need adhesive, you need dimensionals. Um, get those basic things right now. Get to our $50 order, you can get a free celebration item, and then you get all the freebie stuff from me as well. So again, I would truly appreciate. That's what helps me keep going doing the Facebook Lives is your orders, essentially. That's how I get paid to kind of continue to do this. So I, again, appreciate those orders. So thank you. Keep them coming. Keep them coming, please. All right. Um, okay. So I think, are we ready I have so many more things to show you guys. I just can't wait. Okay, um, but yeah, I think, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're gonna flip the camera down, okay? Um, actually, maybe I'll even, this is my host code. I'm gonna put that right there too. Okay, so we got that, we've got this stuff. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. We're flying through the air. Oh, thank you, Philomena. I love making those little treats. You guys know that, right? Week. Okay, I think we're secure in there. We're gonna flip the camera around, okay. My hand is out of the way. Okay, so here's our new host code. This is the August host code. I'm just starting in a couple days early. So we've got the PG9H2M74. That'll be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com um, and I'll include it in the details to this Facebook Live video too. Okay, so I had not had a chance to share with you guys my swaps from the July to December mini catalog. So I thought I would do that. Now I'm gonna be honest, I barely know the names of things yet. So I'm just gonna share these with you guys and you can ooh and ah over them and we'll figure out the details on some of these later. I do know that I think I just bought these dies though because I love those Christmas trees and that's a beautiful, I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that embossing folder too. I don't think I really even paid attention to that yet. So there's one swap, okay. Um, some people just make life better. That's super sweet, right? And some of, ooh, oh, and she used some of the gems too. So these are some die cuts um, and gems that are in the holiday catalog also, okay? Ooh, and then here's some of the, so I know a lot of the embellishments. This is like a little tinsel trim kind of thing. Super cute, huh? And then it says, peace to you at Christmas. You can just kind of see that underneath there, right? This is a beautiful hello, straight designer series paper. So simple and easy, right? She just layered it on a couple pieces of cardstock, added a sentiment, and then some of our, those are probably some of the new pearls. I bet they are, right? Those are some of the new festive pearls. Some of the gold ones are right there. Okay, then, ooh, this is another beautiful one, right? I'm like, wow, I haven't looked at these in a while, so they're kind of like brand new to me also. Wishing you the loveliest day. Isn't that so pretty? And then with more of that designer series paper, the fun fall embossing folder. This one's really cute too. Best witches. <laughs> that is super cute. And all the beautiful coloring that she did. Oh, that's gorgeous. So much detail on that one too. And I love that die too. I haven't used those. Those are, can you guys see in the right light? Just that stitching. Um, yeah, it just kind of adds a little accent there, right? Can you guys even see that? I'm like trying to, <laughs> I don't know if the glare, if it doesn't make so you can see it very well. And then here's another one, Christmas cheer. Oh, I love that. And there's some of the sparkly glimmer paper there too. Okay, then we've got So Very Merry. Ooh, and it looks like she may be sponged or did some kind of embossing on that embossing, on the, some 
wet embossing on the dry embossing folder. Can you guys kind of, it's like a little wash look there. Very pretty, right? Christmas cheer. That's a cute one too. Oh, and that tag. I'm just kind of learning about those tags. Oh, here's another fun one with the gnome paper and the little moose there. Oh, that's very cool, right? And then let's see, with a little more sparkle and a little less stress, let's make this Christmas the very best. Oh, that's a great sentiment, right? Oh, and some of that beautiful gold ribbon. Can you guys kind of see that? Oh, these are all gorgeous. So you'll probably be seeing some version of some of these coming up because I am absolutely loving. Hello, Miss Monica. I'm loving all of these swaps that I received. Oh my gosh. So let's see, candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses. So cute. Hello, Teresa. Welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, so many fun. I bet a lot of these have fun folds. I'm just not opening them right now. But I'll. we'll be back. We'll check these out in more detail. Um, another time. I'm sure I'll probably, like I said, I'll be opening these up and probably casing some of these using the ideas. Love that stamp set too. Um, so that's a stamp set and a punch that's in our holiday catalog. So great set of swaps. So beautiful. Um, yeah. So if you loved any of those things, I can help you figure out. Just let me know if you have a question on one of them. I can help you figure out what products were used on those swaps too if you're interested in getting any of the products to make any of those swaps, okay? Um, all right, so now I wasn't sure if I had shown you guys lately um, my uh, scrapbook pages. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna just kind of go through the last couple months and show you guys some of the two-page layouts that we do in scrapbook class. Um, so I like to post these on my blog, so you'll see them there. And then in addition, if you're local and would like to come to classes, I do scrapbook class the last Tuesday of every month from 6 to 8 p.m. And we make three 12 by 12 page layouts. We make a coordinating two-page spread, and then we'll make a single page spread. And then the next month we'll use, we'll make the other half of that single page spread. So you end up with the two-page spread and then another two pages that go together. So hopefully that makes sense. So for example, maybe a couple of months ago, we would have made these two scrapbook pages, right? Um, if you guys can kind of see those, right? So maybe we made these two pages, right? And then we made the single page spread. And then the next month, we made the other half of the single page spread. So these two right here, right? Can you guys kind of see these? They're not, it's like a little bit hard um, to see everything, isn't it, right? And then also that next month, we would make that second set of coordinating pages, right? So we've got this one right here. Aren't these beautiful? And like I said, I'll be posting these to my blog. So if you're like, what'd she use on these things? Um, keep an eye out for that. And I'll be sharing that. And then lastly, we made these two pages just this, was it this week? Oh my gosh, I'm like totally blanking out. It was, right? This is the end of, <laughs> yeah, on Tuesday we made these pages. Oh my gosh, it's been a long week, ladies. Yeah, so these again feature that Rings of Love Designer Series paper. And then I'll kind of zoom in. You can kind of see the embossing back there and then all the detail that those dies make, right? Oh, <laughs> that's so funny, Robin. She says she's so behind in her scrapbooking. Yes, I think that's a very common theme with most everyone in life is that they're behind. I think I only know of one for sure person that is um, up to date on her scrapbooking. And I don't know how she does it. But other than that, everyone is behind. It's just like the joke, like how far behind are you? That's maybe the contest, right? Oh, here are some of those brushed metallic um, dots I was talking about too. How, see how well they work with that designer series paper. So yeah, I just wanted to share those with you guys because I didn't know if I had done that lately. I was showing you those scrapbook pages. Okay, so one last quick reminder about the Butterfly Kisses class to go. So, right, we have these four cards. RSVPs are due today for this class to go. Another fun thing to know, though, is that if you are an Inkspired Stamper, you can get the PDF tutorial for my class to go kits free anytime. So any past kit that I have, they're all listed on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. If you find one of those old kits too, email me and say, I would love to get that PDF tutorial for free from you because I'm a part of your team and I'm happy to do that. 
okay? And then obviously each month when I make a new class to go, you can get those PDF tutorials for free as well. So that's a fun perk of being an Inkspired Stamper. In addition, um, all of my team members can actually get these make and takes for just $12. They get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these projects, including the twine and the fun flower resin shapes and the designer series paper. They just need their own stamps and dies to do their stamping and die cutting. So pretty awesome. But let me just show you guys. So quick reminder, these are the four cards we are making. It's kind of a fun fold right there, right? And then we've got this one, another fun fold. You're my bestie. And you can use whatever sentiments you like on these. This little all the love right there. And then lastly, we have this one right here, sending good vibes. So beautiful. I love the colors, the just the layouts, um, just all the fun, bright, beautiful ness of those cards, right? Okay, so quick reminder. Um, oh, I didn't bring the I didn't bring that stuff over here, but you also get um, the stamp set and the dies in option number one. I think it's maybe $99 because it's a huge um, set of stuff. Plus you actually, I don't know if I even said that or not. You get a free celebration item with that one. Clearly you get a full pack of the paper, the fun flower resin shapes and a full package of the twine. Um, I think option number two is $52. You don't get the stamp set and the dies, but you get the paper, the fun flowers and the twine plus the PDF tutorial, all the parts and pieces, everything you need to make those projects. Okay. But today is the last day to RSVP for these super duper cute cards. So let me know if you're interested. I would love to get one of those kits Sent out to you. Um, current downline, $12 for make and takes. Uh, PDF tutorial is $15 or free to you if you're a current inspired stamper. Okay. I think I did it. I, I was, I'm like kind of impressed that I got through. Okay. Um, we're still doing all right here. Okay. So um, let me find my grid paper because it is time to do our stamping, ladies. Okay. Here we go. I've got my grid paper. I'm gonna scoot that host code up there. I've gotta move this. Hello, Miss Cindy, welcome. Okay, I think we're in view, right? Okay, we can see what we're doing. Okay, and I'm looking around my table. I'm like, yeah, I think I talked about everything. I'm still like, I thought I was gonna be here an hour and a half trying to <laughs> tell you guys everything. So, all right, we're doing okay. We are gonna do our stamping now. Okay, again featuring the perfect pomegranate stamp set. You can get one of these sets for free from my drawing if you buy the starter kit through me. So keep that in mind. Or also free from Stampin' Up! with a $300 order. Okay, so here is our first project. You can see I use these stamps right here and then this one right here on this card, right? Uh, featuring this fun fold that I cased. This is what I was showing you earlier. So this was the swap that Sunday made with her little hippo stamp set and dies. And I thought like the layout was so cute. I'm like, okay, I love that layout. We're gonna do that with that card right there. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna get everything out here so we're all ready to go. Maybe I won't get the stamps yet because those always they kind of get in the way. I gotta get the die cutting machine too. Okay, so let me tell you about measurements. And also quick reminder to know that all of this information will be posted on my blog. Hello, Trish, how are you? Uh, it'll be posted on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? So all of the colors, uh, product item codes, dimensions, step-by-step um, -step, kind of everything that you need to know on how to make these projects. Okay, so here, for example, is a piece of old olive cardstock. Um, it was an eight and a half by 11, but I actually cut it down from the eight and a half inch side. I cut it down at six inches right here, okay? Then along the 11 inch side, I cut it in half at five and a half inches. And finally, along that short six inch side, I scored it, well, I guess it's longer actually. So along the six inch side, I scored it at one and three quarter inches, okay? So that's kind of step one, right? Then we also have this other piece of old olive cardstock that measures. So this one is four by four and a half. And along the four and a half inch side, I scored it at one inch, okay? So you're gonna fold that over and then that's gonna fit in there like that. So that flap is gonna go behind that white piece to kind of open and close like that, okay? So then you've got your basic white cardstock that measures the four inches by five and a quarter inches and that's gonna lay right on top there, okay? And then lastly, 
we have, where's my card? <laughs> there we go, okay. Then we've got our two pieces of designer series paper. This one measures one and three quarter by five and one quarter. And then this one measures three and one quarter by three and three quarters, okay? And this is some of the host designer series paper in the annual catalog that I'm totally blanking out on the name of, but I will tell you that when I post to our Facebook, or excuse me, to my blog, okay? Um, I think that's it in terms of dimensions. Then I also just have a piece of basic white cardstock that we're gonna do our stamping and die cutting on that circle right there, okay? So I think we are gonna go ahead and do that first. Okay, so we've got this right here. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna do my Blackberry Bliss first. Okay, so I've got my Blackberry Bliss ink with my pomegranate stamp. So nice, easy tap, tap, tap right there, right? Okay, we're gonna press straight down, lift straight up, and then we've got the other little seeds that we're gonna stamp right inside there, okay? Also with our Blackberry Bliss. Oh no, Trish, you're in quarantine. Oh, hopefully you have lots of um, fun products that you can play with then. <laughs> oh, or I, well, I hope, hopefully you just have to be in quarantine and you feel fine. I guess that's step one, right? If you're feeling good, hopefully you can like just play with, play with lots of stamps and ink and paper, oh my gosh. That's craziness, right? Okay, so then also, while I have my stamps out, right, we are gonna stamp, and it's kind of funny because I did this, the thinking of you, and I was like, oh, I always like to put something on the corner, and then I put it in the card, and I was like, oh, you can see that there, but I'm thinking, you know what? I think it's still kind of cute, so if you didn't want to see it, maybe you could put them, maybe we'll try that. We'll see which one we like better, see if I can line that up properly or not, but again, we're gonna use our old olive ink. Oh, and I will tell you, I used the Ringed with Nature stamp set, that Thinking of You sentiment. That's where that came from, right there, okay? So we're gonna stamp our Thinking of You. Maybe put that right about there. And then we're gonna do our little flowers, because I just, I loved these flowers. I wanted to like put them on everything, to be honest. I think they're super cute. This little flower right here, and then the little um, inside of the flower we stamped in Old Olive, I think, right? Yep, okay. So. <laughs> so we're going to do that one there, maybe that one there, right? And then we'll come back with the little insides of the flower. Yeah, that's just as cute too. So I guess if you want to see them, stamp them down in the corner. And if you don't want to see them, stamp them up near your sentiment. And I don't think you're going to be able to see them. Not for sure, but I'm thinking anyway. Okay, and Miss Robin was curious about how I cleaned my stamps. And I told her that I would show on our Facebook Live. So I'm gonna do that right now because I think I've stamped with everything. So my chamois, this is what I use. Okay, good, feeling better. Okay, that's awesome. So yeah, hopefully you can have a little fun then um, stamping and playing, right, while you're in quarantine. Okay, so my chamois, basically I just get this wet. That's all I do is I run it under kind of lukewarm tap water. And once you use it enough, it gets pretty ugly, right? It starts out a beautiful kind of pale purple. Um, you can see I must scrub only in the center, not so much on the edges, which is fine. But basically you run it under water and I just kind of wring it out and you'll see kind of lots of ink, um, I guess, washing out. Um, but I'm always kind of amazed. Like all I do is just kind of rub it on here. Um, I like to keep it in one of our clear stamp cases. And it's like, for me, it's like magic. It's like it gets absorbed in here and there's not even a shadow. With my other... Um, cleaner I always ended up and I think it was because we actually used kind of an actual cleaning solution I always ended up with like a shadow that I kind of had to stamp off but these you don't even have a shadow so it's kind of I still it's like a habit I always have to go tap tap on the table but you just kind of rub and if you get ink on the edges here you know it's just kind of like a little dish pad really almost right and then here's our last one so just kind of scrub away and it's so handy and it and you don't want it super wet you just kind of want it damp quite honestly a lot of times mine ends up getting super dry around the edges and it's still a little wet in here so I keep using it but just run it under tap water and it gets kind of flappy flimsy again so super handy love my chamois for cleaning okay so good there was a little tutorial on cleaning your stamps your 
gonna get, I can move that one again. Those things out of the way. Okay. Let's put our card together. Well, actually we gotta do our die cutting first and then we can put our card together. Okay. So I've got my die cutting and embossing machine here. We are gonna pop that down there. I am using the, my favorite, love, 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 the Stylish Shapes dies. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, you always think you're ruining your stamps. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it even matters what color you use, Robin. They always turn, well, and I guess some of them are worse than others, yes. But yeah, they just kind of, I don't know, they get, they do get discolored. You can see the difference between like this one, I used Blackberry Bliss, so certainly that one looks pretty purpley. This one I used Old Olive, that one is pretty clean. So it kind of depends on what color you use, maybe how stained they get. But this is clean, even though it might not look like it. So yeah, I see, yeah, okay. yeah. That used to bug me too, and now I'm over it. <laughs> so hopefully you can not let it bother you too much either. But we're gonna use this largest circle from my Stylish Shapes dies. Absolutely love these dies with the stitching. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda line this up to get as much of it in as we can. Okay. All right, here we go. Scoot this guy out of the way. Okay, now I think we are ready to put our card together. Let me find my adhesive buried under things. Okay, so let's just put this on the inside of our card right now. Oops, scoot that up there, right? So run it and tip it back, run it and tip it back, right? Okay, so again, here is our old olive. I did score that, it's just not scored super deeply, I guess. So it was like, I can kind of see a hint of a score mark there. There, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. okay, hold on. Let's see, I forgot, I gotta put, is that gonna work? I think that's gonna work, right, yeah, okay. I'm gonna kind of lift that up. Mm, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put that underneath there <laughs> because I need to put this piece in behind there. Okay, so, and it's gonna be, yeah, we're gonna go like that. So I'm gonna put adhesive along the back right here. Okay, and I wanna put a good amount. So I'm gonna run strips all the way down there. Oh yes, the pink, yes, Deb, absolutely. It's hard to get it off. They all, somehow they just all kind of turn pink, no matter what color you use, but those deep, yeah, the deep reds and purples. Okay, so we're gonna put that. So that should have been step one, and then putting this piece on should have been step two, but that worked out all right. So there we go, okay. So there's that piece. Now we can add our designer series paper. Okay. Got this one, so we're gonna add this piece right on here. So simple card, but fun with the extra little fold to it, right? We're gonna add this one right about there. I'm just gonna press firmly to get that all down. Okay, so now we're gonna add our stamping, our pomegranates, right? We're gonna put some dimensionals behind here. Okay, pop those off. There's some little blue. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna put that. So that so you guys wanna see, isn't that so very pretty, huh? That pomegranate with the little seeds on the inside. And that's supposed to stamp like that too. You can kind of see, um, supposed to have some shading there in the bottom of that stamp. Okay, so now we gotta add a little bit of ribbon and bling. So we are using, this is the Old Olive and Sahara Sand Twill Ribbon Combo Pack. So if you can see, there's the Sahara Sand and the Old Olive. And this twill ribbon is so nice to work with. Would be great for masculine projects as well. Thank you, Deb. I'm glad you're enjoying the fun folds and this card. Okay. There we go. So we just make our little bow. I'm gonna snip that off. I'm gonna snip that down just a little bit and then grab our glue dot. 
There we go. Okay, we're gonna put that little bow right there. And then, you know me, I always have to add a little sparkle and bling. So we have our opal rounds. Okay, so I'm gonna add just a couple of these babies. So we're gonna do one right there and then another one we are gonna do maybe right around there. And then I used one big one kind of down in the corner. I'm glad you're enjoying this card, Philomena. Thank you. I thought it was pretty fun too. Yeah, just lots of beautiful imagery. So there we go, one card made with the perfect pomegranate. Okay, so there's the deal. Do you like this one that you don't see that kind of down because it's covered up, right? Or you've got a little peek of what's inside on that one right there, right? So either one, I think they're both fun. So card number one with that perfect pomegranate stamp set. Thank you, ladies. I'm glad you enjoyed that one. And I've got one more fun card for you. Let's just scoot these things out of the way. And okay, here we go, card number two. And this one, I actually, so a couple of months ago, um, we did a mystery project um, in terms of the layout. So I have to show you, this is what we had made a couple of months ago, mystery project at my team meeting. And I loved the use of the designer series paper in that little fold right there. So I was like, okay, we gotta, you know, I love taking card layouts like this and then using do, new and different products so you kind of see the difference. So there's that one right there that we made, um, again, mystery project a few months ago at our team meeting. And then, so there's this one right here featuring different designer series paper that I think it's the pretty prints again I will include the name of that designer series paper um, in the details on my blog when I post everything this afternoon okay so but this and I loved that flower there too I don't know if that's like a pomegranate flower um, hello Roseanne and thank you Philomena I know this is kind of a fun so I basically took the this color combo so this is Bermuda Bay and Calypso Coral so these were a couple of colors that were included in that designer series paper so that's how I kind of came up with that color combo okay and then I actually wanted to show you guys kind of the reverse of that. So I'll show you what I mean. Whoops, ribbon goes flying. This time we are going to do, kind of, like I said, kind of the opposite. So here, this is our Calypso Coral Designer Series paper. So we're gonna use a Calypso Coral base, and then we're gonna um, add some Bermuda Bay accents as well. So same idea, but maybe just a little bit different look, okay? So let me tell you, we have, we start with, this is our card base. It's just a quarter of a piece of cardstock. So actually maybe I'll go this way. If you can imagine, here was our 11 inch piece of cardstock. We cut it at five and a half inches, and then along the eight and a half inch side, we also cut it at four and a quarter. So this is a quarter of a sheet, um, a quarter of a piece of Calypso Coral cardstock, four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? And then we have our piece of designer series paper that measures, this one is five and one quarter by 10 inches, and we scored it at four, five, and six inches. And we just make that little accordion fold there so it'll lay down on here and then we'll open it like that. That'll make a little bit more sense when we put it together, okay? And then from there, we just have a couple of pieces that we're gonna do our die cutting um, and stamping and so on. So, okay, um, let's do that first. So a little bit tricky. I think we're actually, let's see, we're gonna do our stamping on this piece. This is just a little, obviously, piece of basic white cardstock. Thank you, Lisa. I'm glad you like that. Sorry, I just like hit something, didn't I? Okay, so we're gonna do our stamping of our thank you in Calypso Coral ink. So we're gonna do that. Just get that one out of the way. And then I think we're gonna do our die cutting. What I'm kind of struggling with, and I'm pretty sure I made this like a few days ago, so it's always like the, <laughs> you know, a few days ago, details are foggy, right? But I wanna die cut this and then I'm gonna stamp on here, okay? So we're gonna die cut this sentiment, that piece, and then two of these guys, and then we'll do our stamping on them, okay? So, all right, we've got these things right here, and I'll tell you where everything came from too, okay? So 
we've got that one again using my stylish shapes dies. This time we're going to use this one right here, which pull that out. Looks like I need to put my magnetic plate on there. That is the third smallest circle in those stitched stylish shapes dies. Okay, so we're going to do that one. And then we also have these are the scalloped contour dies. You guys know I've played with these a bunch. That's the second largest die. We're going to use that one. Okay. And we're going to die cut this piece right there. Okay. And we're actually going to do two of those. Okay. So I'm going to cut that one along with the sentiment. And then I'm going to do one more. <laughs> All those little bits. Okay. Got that. So there's our little thank you with the stitching around the edge. Always so cute, right? We've got one of our scallop edged pieces right there. Okay, we're going to do one more. And what guys are we using? Oh, yeah, that's right. These are called the designer tags dies. And you can see there are lots of kind of tags, but then some like that butterfly and that beautiful flower. Look at that cute little tag right there too. You can see that one. And then we've got that, that flower probably went right in there. So this is what we're gonna use to kind of embellish our sentiment there, okay? So beautiful set of dies, those designer tags. So tags and a little bit more, I would say, with the butterfly and the flowers and these little leaves, sprigs, whatever you want to call them. We're actually going to go back through. I think that sometimes helps, you know, to kind of go back and forth a time or two. Makes like that detailed die cut a little bit easier. So again, we've got one more little scallop right there. Okay. And then let's check this guy out. Oh yeah, good stuff. Okay, I love it when it just kind of all pops out. So isn't that cute? Again, that is from the designer tags dies right there. But look at all of those cool tags. We're gonna have lots of fun playing with that set of dies as well. Okay. Let's get those. All right, I think we are good to go. Let's just get this guy out of the way. that junk off of there. Okay, so here's the test. Because <laughs> I did, it was hard to, you can see it's not even perfect, but I, I don't think you really notice it. It was hard to get that all centered well. Like sometimes I was stamping too high, sometimes too low. So we'll just see. Just say a little prayer for me that this goes well. <laughs> and yes, those scallop contour dies, they are awesome, aren't they, Miss Philomena? Okay, so we've got one there. We're gonna do one there. The trick is to kind of, kind of have it out far enough so that you can see, you know, even those green bits, right? And we'll do one there and one there. So you kind of just go around the edges. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that actually. <laughs> Maybe better than the other day when I did it. Okay, and then we're gonna use our Bermuda Bay ink. So again, Calypso Coral and Bermuda Bay are our colors. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap. So I just kind of, I double stamped these. I kind of liked how that looked, right? Maybe one there. And sometimes I go a little too far into the center and we're not gonna be able to see much. So my second one, I might draw out a little bit further. So yeah, and then that is just gonna layer right on there. So isn't that cool? Actually, I think there's one more on the inside of this. Let's actually, cause this time we have Calypso Coral. So instead of Bermuda Bay, for that little baby flower, we are gonna do some Calypso Coral inside there, okay? So our other piece, we've got this one here. So we're gonna stamp that little baby flower. I just think that's so pretty. There's something about that and that little thing on the inside, just so cute, right? Okay, I think we've got it. I think we can start putting stuff together now. Okay, so let's see, we'll just scoot these over here. Let's get working on our card base, okay? So I want to adhere this flap together right here. So I'm gonna run adhesive along the inside of one of these, okay? And then we're just gonna fold that together, okay? All right, and then we want to 
I just, that was kind of busy. I kind of looked at using that, but I think that's too much behind there. So you kind of want something a little more subtle. So we're just gonna go with kind of that little wash background there, okay? So we are gonna, oops. Ooh, I think I'm at the end. I was like, oh no, what did I do? But see that red tape? We are at the end of this adhesive. So let's just grab another one, okay? Can I get it open? I think there we go, okay. So if you guys haven't used these before, super easy, right? So those little holes fit into those little notches. So that just goes there. That pops on there and you are back in business, okay? Oops, except you might have to get it started for a sec. Okay, I've still got that on my finger. <laughs> I'm trying to like find a spot to lose it there. Do I get it off? Yes, okay, there we go. All right, so we're gonna put this little baby right on there, okay? Then we can add adhesive to the back of this one and this one's gonna go on the inside isn't it so pretty beautiful okay so that's gonna go there i'm gonna flip this over i did not i was trying to see if i used dimensionals on that i think with the um scallops they almost kind of curl out a little bit so it almost looks like you've got it popped up on dimensionals even when you don't because you put adhesive like on the inside of that stitching I think that's kind of how that happens okay so we're going to do that we will add a couple of dimensionals behind our thank you sentiment okay put that one right there Oh, I was like, where's my little dye or my little flower spriggy thing? Okay, love to use my silicone mat to add a little bit of adhesive. Then I don't get sticky all over my grid paper, my work paper, right? Just add a little bit of adhesive there and then we're gonna tuck him right inside there, okay? And what else do we need? Ooh, we need some ribbon and this fell. So there's like a whole lot of ribbon. <laughs> Thank you, Roseanne. I'm glad you're enjoying those. And Miss Diana, hello and welcome. I hope you had a happy birthday. Um, lots of July birthdays. I'm trying to think of who else. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna tie this in a bow. This is our white seam binding ribbon. Great. Um, just coordinates with everything, kind of ribbon, right? All right, I'm just gonna, you know, I have to like futz with my bow a little bit. Okay, there we go. That looks good, right? Okay, we've got that and that. Okay, we'll just trim that off a little bit, that one and that one, okay? And then finally, more bling as always. We are gonna use this time our iridescent rhinestones, okay? Oh, you're welcome for the beautiful card. Yes. It's always fun to feel a little spoiled on your birthday, isn't it, huh? Okay, so we've got one rhinestone there and then I just kind of added a couple more down in the corner right there. Okay. There we go, card number two, kind of with two different um, coordinating colors. Thank you, Bonnie. Simple and beautiful. That's it. That's what I do, I think, anyway. And I can't even take credit, right? It's all Stampin' Up! products, especially this beautiful, perfect pomegranate stamp set makes it so easy to make simple and beautiful cards, right? Okay, so as I always like to do my quick reminder, and again, like I said, I truly, truly appreciate your orders. So if you are able to, I would love for you to order through me using this host code, the PG9H2M74. If you order at least $30 through me, you're gonna get one of each of these cards as a thank you from me. Your name is also entered into the drawing to win the tree lot dies that we have right here. I just didn't open them up. So these tree lot dies, you could win with your $30 order. You also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial if you bump your order up to $50 or the free embellishment for July, the Fun Flower Resin Shapes, and then moves to August, the um, 
what are these called? The, the beautiful holiday pearls, right? So either one of those you can pick with your $50 order. Plus you get a celebration choice. So it's like a no brainer um, to order right now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these cards. Don't forget if you buy the starter kit through me, you can get your name in the drawing to win one of my perfect pomegranate stamp sets too. So bye everybody. Have a great last couple of days of July and we'll see you on our next Facebook Live. Thank you. Bye everybody.